Hello, in this video we're going to solve for marginal cost using calculus type problems. Problem 1. The firm's total cost is given by 45 plus 2q. Let's solve for marginal cost. Marginal cost is the derivative of the total cost equation with respect to the quantity of output q. And so the derivative here is going to be just 2. The derivative of 45 is a constant, and that's 0. And the derivative of 2q is just 2. Example 2. Total cost equals 10q. Marginal cost is just going to be 10, constant at 10. And in general, if the total cost equation equals a plus bq, marginal cost will just be that coefficient in front of the q term, in this case, b. Another example. Here we have a nonlinear total cost equation. Cost equals 5 plus q squared. And so marginal cost is a derivative concept. Once again, the derivative of a constant, in this case, 5 is 0. The derivative of q squared is just 2q. We bring that exponent on the q term out in front and then subtract 1 from that exponent, so we just have 2q. Another example, bring that, ex bring that exponent down in front, so it's 2 times 1.5, which is 3. Subtract 1 from that exponent, leaves us with a marginal cost of 3q. And in general, if you have a cost equation that looks like this, marginal cost will equal 2 times b times q. All right, moving on. Okay, here we have a cost equation. The marginal cost is going to be given by 2 plus 2q. The derivative of 180, that is a constant, so it's 0. The derivative of 2q is just 2. And the derivative of q squared, as we saw, is 2q. Example 8 cost equals q plus 2q squared. The derivative of q is just 1, the coefficient out in front of it, which is just 1 in this case. And then the 2q squared bring down to 2 in front, so 2 times 2 is 4. And then subtract 1 from the exponent, you're left with 4q. And so in general, if you have a cost equation that looks like this, marginal cost will be given by b plus 2 times cq. Right, example 10, here we have a cubit cost equation. The marginal cost, the derivative of 5 is 0, the derivative of 3q is 3, the derivative of q squared is 2q, and finally the derivative of 0.2q raised to the third power is 0.6q squared. This 3 in the exponent comes down in front, so 3 times 0.2 is where this 0.6 is coming from. We subtract 1 from that exponent, 3 minus 1 leaves us with an exponent of 2. Example 11, we have this cost equation. Let's get marginal cost. Derivative of q is 1. The derivative of 0.5q squared is just going to be q. So the 2 comes down in front, so 2 times 0.5 is 1. And then we subtract 1 from the exponent. We're just left with q. And then finally, this last term will be 3q squared. So in general, if you have a cost equation, cubic cost equation that looks like this, marginal cost will equal the following. Here we have another cubic type cost equation, but this time we have a minus sign in front of the q squared term. And marginal cost will be given as follows. The derivative of 500 is 0. The derivative of 45q is 45. The derivative of minus 9q squared is minus 18q. And then the last term here we have is 3q squared. Another total cost equation in cubic form. Derivative of 10q is 10. This middle term here gives us the minus 10q. And finally, this last term, we get 0.3q squared. And so in general, if you have a cubic cost equation that looks like this, where we have a minus sign in front of the q squared term, your marginal cost would be given as follows. And a few remaining examples. C equals 80 plus Q divided by 3. So I just put some fractions in here. Not a big deal. The marginal cost just going to be 1 third. Here's another example. The marginal cost. Bring down to 2 in front. 
subtract one from the exponent and then simplifying just left with one half q and then finally our last example cubic example the marginal cost here will simplify down to the following okay that's it